I'm Chef Mike from Mike's Diner, and here we are back again, ready to cook up another meal. Thanks for coming out. What we're going to be doing today is carne asada tacos. You're not going to believe how easy this is, and it doesn't even take much more than 15 minutes tops. Here's the first thing we're going to do. Here's what I like to do. I like yellow chilies with my tacos, like a lot of people do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a storage bag, put some uh, virgin oil in there, Mix it up real good, get them nice and wet. Like that. And if you remember last time, the old favorite, Cajun Injector Hickory Grill. Remember I told you you could put that on anything? You, this is the same thing. Dump it on there. I know some of you might be saying, what, he's really putting that on there? I really am. And check it out. When you're cooking this for your family and you don't tell them what it is, and they start eating it, when they start telling you, hey, are you kidding me? What did you do with those chilies? You come to Mike's diner and you put, all right, Mike, good job. So get that seasoning on them real good. And then just dump them on the grill. Just put them on there. It's nice and hot already. I got the grill nice and going good. Grilling. Like always, I gotta get my onions going too, you guys. So that's gonna take a couple minutes. So while we're preparing the chilies and the onions, why don't you take a break, get yourself a cold beverage, and we'll be right back in a minute. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're just finishing up with the chilies and the onions. Got those put away. I wanted to let you know real quick, a lot of people had asked about on the fried rice video, where'd you get the rice? What kind of rice is that? And it's called Royal, and it's authentic Indian basmati rice. And then, here you go, Manny. I, I use this rice even when I do Spanish rice. It's really thin. You'll notice that the long grain is really thick and it takes a while to cook it. That rice is really, really thin and it comes out super fluffy. And you could also put it in the steamer. So it, that, that's the best rice I've used so far that I've tried. Okay, guys, now we're gonna go with the, the uh, carne asada meat that's already marinated. Found it down at the local market. I'm sure you guys have a market near you. That's the way I like to get the meat already pre-done. I've tried it a couple times. I didn't like the way it, uh, it came out when I marinated it myself. I'm good with the way the store does it. So I bought five pounds of it. We're going to throw it on right now. What's nice is we have all those onions down here and the yellow chilies. And I get a little bit of that flavor on the grill, which is nice. That's why I like to follow that meat right after I do that. Oh yeah, that looks scrumptious today. Hey guys, welcome back. Meat's coming along just fine. You know, it helps out so much when you're doing it on this 36 inch Blackstone grill. It gives you so much room, like I said before. It's so easy to work with. We're about done. Probably gotta take a couple more minutes for the meat to be done. I know uh, some of you guys are probably looking at my shirt saying, really, Chargers fan, Chef Mike? Yeah, Charger fan, I'm from Southern California. You know how hard it is to be a Charger fan? You guys seen the game, especially you Raider fans. Hopefully we'll be better this year, but I don't know. Appreciate those comments to be a little low on that. Okay guys, welcome back. Got the meat done, everything looks great. I just cleaned the grill just a tad for the corn tortillas to go on. We are ready, we're ready to eat. I'm gonna put a couple of down right there like that. You guys know I love oil. You let me know that last time. That's it. Make sure they're a little wet. If I'm cooking for a lot of people, I'll, I'll see what they want. I like giving out one tortilla with the meat and the stuff. I don't like two. Two seems too much to me, but you know what? A lot of people like two. So you go with what, what the people like. Me, most of the time I'm cooking for the family like you're going to be doing. And they don't have a problem with one, so the ones is what I've done. Well, yeah, I said that. Ones is what I've done. 
All right, that looks real good. The onions are beautiful. They continued to cook while they were in this little trough. Got the yellow chili still cooking. I'm telling you guys, on that yellow chili, your family's gonna be like, "Are you kidding me? What did you? Where did you do this? How did you do this?" Don't forget that seasoning, man. It's bomb. All you gotta do, you guys, it's not hard. You can, anybody can do this. You just take the time. Okay, guys, come on over here and check this out. That's it, right there. That's what we're talking about at Mike's Diner. That's all we gotta do. Get it together. Just like that. You gotta have a cold one, right? You got everything I need right here. My wife's gonna bring out my hot sauce, dribble it on right there. I got my limes, my chilies, my radishes. I'll tell you what, you put that plate on anybody's table and they're gonna love you. There's no doubt about it. You crack a cold one like this, you got my lime tree right over there that I picked the limes from, and you're good to go. And just to add, if you like reading, I'm an author. Yeah, believe it or not, Mike's chef, Chef Mike <laughs> is an author. I wrote a book called Sleepy. It's a true story. It's about a girl in gangs. I was an outreach worker and uh, she was on my caseload. And uh, I've been working with at-risk kids my whole life. So it's very impactful and it's throughout several school districts here in Southern California. Check it out. It's on Amazon. Also, I have a website you can check out, readsleepy.com. Um, I appreciate your time. I love making food. I'm not trying to say I know everything. I'm trying to say that my family likes how I cook, and I want to share it with you guys. Also, this impacts kids' lives, so check it out if you can. Uh, and it's on Amazon. There's also a workbook to come with it if you're a teacher out there and you want to take a proactive step in your classroom. Uh, to handle some of these uh, volatile characters we have on our campuses. So I appreciate you showing up. I appreciate you coming out. I love the subscribers. I love all the comments, even the negative ones. It's not a big deal to me. It comes with the territory. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from your comments. I appreciate you. And uh, we'll eat again in about two, three weeks, maybe a month. We're going to do fresh trout. I have Big Bear Lake next to me, so I'm going to go drive up there, catch a couple trout, come down here. I'm going to fillet it for you over here in the garden, put the guts in the garden because it helps my garden grow. And then I'm going to show you how to make the trout and also make fish tacos. So I'll see you in about three weeks. Take care, have fun, enjoy, kick back, have a beer, and good eating. Scrumptious.